we can now look at the subject of intermediate floors, or in our case the Denby Day, or the first floor construction. We've chosen an I-beam system for the first floor because of buildability, price, speed, but mainly because of its ability to take the MBHR ducting, which can be up to 150 millimeter diameter. And also you have to have bends for outlets into your ceiling and so forth. So either you have to have ducting and boxing around the bottom of your ceiling, around the edges of the floor, which is what I've seen abroad, or and I've seen it actually done on the floor up here, um, if you've got the solid floor that is or you have some sort of system like this. On top of this will be our chipboard floor and below we'll have our plasterboard and skim as you normally would in any other house. Now these I-beams are then um, attached to a wall plate here by metal joist hangers which are then nailed into this solid laminated timber wall plate. The normal construction um, method with a cavity wall would be traditionally timber floor into built into the blocks, block work or in a, um, in a leaf, brickwork, whatever, um, and you carry on up. Very straightforward, very robust detail in some ways. Um, but as, in terms of air tightness, it is hopeless. And we've come up with this detail. We've used a laminated wall plate here, which is applied to the wall, which has been parged. Now, parging is um, just a weak sand and cement mix, which is for air tightness. As we talked about earlier, block work is not airtight in its own right. Wet plaster is, um, but of course if you put the floor in before you do the plaster, you've still got leaky block work behind it. So we've got a parging coat, but we've still got to puncture it obviously for structural stability. So what we've used is stainless steel threaded bar probably half an inch diameter, I think it's half an inch, not 10 mil, um, with washers and nuts to clamp it to the wall. And we've used resin, uh, which is uh, epoxy resin, very popular nowadays in the construction industry with a, a gun. And we measured the amount that we wanted to put into these holes. We didn't puncture it totally. We only came through to about 75 mil into the 100 mil block work, um, so that the resin acted as an air tightness barrier in its own right. We also have masticked with Orcon F top and bottom of this wall plate as an extra, extra belt and braces. 